I didn't complete a lot. Some things were like bulk uploads of a bunch of the same figure, so those are already gone, but here's the used stuff. I just got the one order left. It took me uh, 90 minutes about to get to this point is what, what actually happened. So this is a $99 order plus shipping. Um, I don't know. I was looking for some parts and they had a really good deal. They're actually on my favorite storage list, I think, because it came up, up high on my, uh, my wanted list. So um and all of a sudden i noticed everything was 80 percent off so like these um go for close to 40 cents each on average and i got these for 13 cents so it's about a three to four times the value typically i don't buy like this but so people are asking on average 60 cents each for these but right now i don't know if there's not very many there's 602 lots but anyway so i'm gonna go through this and add these parts pretty much all to my store that's why I purchased this. There might be a couple things in here that I bought that I needed, but I don't know until I go get to it. So I don't see anything right offhand. Um, got a bunch of stickers too in here. They stack them up real nice. Oh my goodness. I can't even get them out. If one handed at least. Well, I actually got a lot of stickers. Oh, I came here for these stickers. That's what it was. I needed that Ninjago card for little Nelson, the purple. And they had a ton of them. I don't know. Oh, I didn't see that, but they were probably a higher price before because I just read out of them like a month ago. So I wasn't really actively looking for them in the last year. So I bought a bunch from Europe before. There's more. So I'm going to take lunch here in a minute, come back, and take care of this. All right, here we go. Back from lunch. I have a. I should have the right mind to maybe download Brickstore and see what the value of this I'll get just for data. But it takes time. I don't even have it downloaded Brickstore on my in any of my computers. So yeah, I probably should. Well, that was just too easy, apparently. I think I just imported my order. Show it. Remember the movie I don't want to show the order. I don't know what I'm doing. Here it is. It's here. It's here. Wow. It's awesome. Let's see if I can try to reprice it. I don't know what I'm doing, but I think I'm going to be using this more. I never said I wouldn't, but maybe I did. It's so simple. You just select them all. Um, then you click on... Set the price Over guide. The now, I want to get the current inventory. That's what I use. Shook and Shooky. The Saints needed help. Uh, they needed to win. So let's see. Get to nine and eight. Let's look at this Batman. It says it's three thirty nine. Is that what they paid for the it? Unfortunately, that's seventeen. Nothing. Or is there a couple price three thirty nine? But really, an I don't think so. Person. Maybe I did. Uh, but like this. Look at this next one. It was eighteen cents for each. Let's just hit the button. See what happens. So yeah, these are 72 cents. This is on average nine bucks. So, wow. Let's see if I can create a file. It only seems right. Tom Brady is five and a half years away from turning 50. And he just completed the season. I've talked about this on the videos before. It may not be the best scenario for the part, but this was one of the first part I ever remember putting in my wall. Sleep in the bag, I guess. And it sold out. Ooh. It sold out, um, I don't know, a few months ago. Now we have it back in place. Wow, that was fast. The only thing I kept are I kept all these sticker sheets. And, like, I have all the parts in the spot here. I've never done this, and so i got to figure out, figure out how to create a file. I've never created a file. I just did a backup of my inventory. Uh, I had the old program on my other computer. I'd use the backup for inventory, but now I have the, the new and improved brick store, and it's actually really easy to use. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, so I get a number so I can see a number. And this is going to be 317. I don't know if that's after sale or before sale because I have a sale price already in there. So 
I can easily find out. Let's just remove a sale from one of them. So let's see if this number goes up. Uh, no, it doesn't. Anyway, create a file. Here we go. Wow, I did it. Kind of. I knew that I needed to somehow get my remarks to that already in my store over here, but I just didn't I'll take the time to finally figure it out. But I will next time. Um, I know there's a way to do that. I think I kind of know, but anyway. So, so simple. You just select everything you want to add, export to the upload to the clipboard. Each one of these is like update. So <clears throat> this might have something to do with what I... I need to do that before I start this, and that's what I was thinking. But anyway, I got it. I got the file over to Bricklink, and it's saying to upload it. Why is it 321? What's the difference here? 317? I don't know. Um, but I'm just going to look at it, but so simple. All right, I went ahead, and I just looked at the little file I was about to upload, and I took those parts and put them where they went. Um, so I cleared out some of the drawers that shouldn't have been, so I consolidated them. Um, there's not two remark codes on stuff that didn't need it. Like example, like I had uh, two of these and these were right here. Boom, they're together. And I just, I just went back into Brick Store and deleted the remarks that I added. Um, so anything that doesn't have remarks now on this right here is something that I already had a remark on. So when I, and I recopied it into the mass upload screen, and here we're back. And we upload. Let's yeah. And we did it. Wow. Now I gotta sync the stores with Brick Packer and really I'm really motivated to get Brick Sync. Um hopefully we can do that in February at the latest. I think I'm getting real laxed on checking my numbers on camera. 380303. It seems like we just keep staying on that number. <laughs> Eleven thousand seven eighty three lots. You were just at 7,500 orders. I got uh, uh, Instagram posts because Ralph let me know I'm sitting at that number like half hour ago. So I got it up. And uh, so I got a photograph now. That's my job. I went over to the best haul ever part two, which is not the best haul ever part two, really. It's, it's very, very good. It just doesn't seem mighty, I guess, like the other one. I don't have all those big figs and the Rancor and all that. Anyway, I grabbed a few things that I'm going to check the Seinfeld, see if I have them in my store, if i got to photograph those or not. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm not slacking, but completed. I got one more order in, so I completed a few more. These are ready for photographs. I brought that stuff kind of over. i got to get my photo box, which I have a new setup over here. This was, this was full of Duplo. Um, I just throw all this stuff because there's a bunch of stuff in there. I don't know, it's kind of big for this. But this is kind of a big box, so I don't have to break it down every time. I need to fix it or get a better one. It's kind of falling apart, but for now, it works just fine. All right, it's the 12th of uh, January. 12th of January. Pretty light eBay day. It's 11 total packages going out. One, that one has two, that has two, that has two, that has two. And then this was, um, it's pretty heavy. All Ninjago spinners. I've had them for sale for a while. I think it was six months I had them for sale. And they offered 20 bucks free shipping. I gladly accepted that and smiled. So, get them out of my, off my shelf. So, I sold the job of the hut. 52 bucks for that one. So that is a lot more than I realized it was worth when I, before I got it. So i got to get this all packaged up and get on to Bricklink and Brickow. All right, we've made it to this area. Mail's there. Clean table. That's an hour-long ping-pong marathon last night. 16 orders. 11 on Bricklink. 86 lots. That's not very many lots for the dollar. And items, brick hall. Uh, a lot of the series 22 have been flying out the door because you can't part them out, so they're full figures, full, full sets of them, and they are going fast. <laughs> so that's that's why the dollar amounts like that with the low lot count and item count. So 
Oh, right now, because of the issues I was having, it froze up, you know, after about eight to 10 orders, I'm gonna trick the system to only let me pull eight at a time. So hopefully it won't do it, that is, it'll just create two set, uh, spreadsheets for pirate ship at the end. Um, we'll see if that works today, but uh, we're gonna have to meet again, me and Ralph, and figure out when he makes updates, so it updates here too. When he gets this perfected, it's already great, but uh, it'll get better. We can make it better. There we go. Here's this order. Four chili peppers, three of the Olympic guy, two robots, and three raccoons, 60, almost 70 bucks there. All right, so I have eight packages, labels ready, right here, all done. Um, so I just loaded the other eight into the software. So I have 72 more lots, and we're done. Somebody wanted all these guys. Ooh, one fell. The new guys that I keep talking about. This is our order, it was five of these guys. Uh, coal headgear, and this came from that Knight's Kingdom set I found at Goodwill. This is a cool mask. Here's a prime example of why this software is so great. Um, this has a note, thank you Derek, and this is a person that contacted me yesterday about their previous order they made maybe last week or so, um, and so they bought four of these green skirts, dresses, and I only sent them one, so I only grabbed one quantity instead of four, and then this, see how big this picture is? This I apparently put grab the wrong pair of legs out of the drawer because these were in another drawer with other legs that were like it. Or maybe I misidentified them, I'm not even sure. But either way, they told them to keep those legs and I'll get you the other ones. And I said, I'm gonna place another order. So that's what they're doing now here and I'm starting to pull it with the software. So it's so nice, a huge picture, a huge number of quantity. That's what difference uh, Brickall does. They, they um, anything that's more than one quantity, they bold it it's, and it seems bigger. So I seem to never hardly mess up on brick owl, like quantity. It's really strange how I never hardly ever get a contact about bad quantity on brick owl. There's a lot less orders, but I, I can only recall one time this year somebody said that I sent the wrong quantity. And it was a time beer before brick world. I was really busy. I was just like rushing those at that time in my life. Which hopefully I don't have to do that again. But anyway, here we go. I got those, space bar. Seven, seven, nine is two. They're hiding back there. We'll get that in a second. Let's see if we can actually grab a part. 1406, I gotta move my cart, but. See, it's really cool because I forgot the quantity as I walked over here, but I can see it. There's a huge four over there. I've had to do that multiple times. I'm like, how many was it? I just look over at my computer if I'm not like exactly by it, but I usually move my cart with me, but we'll get four of these and move on. Here's the big one of the morning. A couple of used parts in there. This is kind of cool to look at. You don't see this every day. It's the, I think it's from the Silent Mary Parts of Caribbean, one of the guys in there some parts and then this cook so this is a hundred dollar order he's quite rare to have i bought a bunch from europe so i have more coming of him had to get this thing out Ooh. he was for sale for hmm, 17 18 hours I jacked the price up $10, and he still sold, obviously because of the helmet. Just got off a Zoom call with Ralph. 
needed a hot fix. So um, we're gonna have it set up another Zoom call to get where we don't have to do that every time. He can just have me run a program in PowerShell and uh, fix it whenever he makes an update. All right, we're at brickworld.com and convention, Indianapolis. March 19th and 20th, we are not on the list, but we just paid for our spot less than 24 hours ago. Got the contract and papers. All right, I just got done listing the last of it, the cards that I needed to do. So we are at 2,138 active listings. And then what we do, we gotta go into the store to actually see what this is all about. L-E-G-O. And it'll give me a number here, 17, 1700 plus? <laughs> That's how they're doing it now? They don't give me an exact number? Come on! <sighs> like the 1.3K followers, I don't know what the number. <laughs> I guess I can go into my store listings. Um, other profile and, and check it out. There we go. 1,727. Record. All right. I'm just going to take these two bags to start and go tray by tray until that box is empty. Just added 10 of those to the Brooklyn store. Not very many new parts. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six and the minifigure. So it's all right. We have uh, I think there's 20 of these going now, and 40 of the minion set are going on down there. All right, nine, almost a thousand items. Uh, this is 20 bags. 223, and we upload. Stay to the table. Let's see if they'll just keep panning around. <laughs> We're at a standstill. Just got to move it along a little. I'm just bagging up these ones. I had somebody ask me about part out values. Um, and uh, they said they weren't a seller, so they didn't think you could actually look it up at Bricklink by doing a mock part out. Oh, yeah, you can't do the mock part out, but you can go to market on the main page and price guide. If you don't know, this is, I mean, if you're a seller, obviously you know, because <laughs> uh, you should be parting stuff out. So I'm just getting the value of uh, this. So quite a bit for some reason so I'm gonna actually put it on that last six months sales average and, well they're so close but I want to I want to drop prices of some parts that may be a little too high in my store that I added while a while ago so I did I did that on the other two poly bags I just did the Shang-Chi and the Raya one so that's how I'm gonna do it I have a feeling that uh, I need to move a few things that's cool to come with those white ones that the, you only, they only came, well, that I know of, they probably came with other stuff, but the LEGO Movie 2 CMFs, which were in abundance, abundance, so those might be as well. There's all the parts. Good number. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, and green. Alright, we got everything in here. I think I'm recording upside down again. There we go. So, um, so what I did is I'm only putting five of these guys in. I have 40 total. The cool thing is they come with these arms as well. So I can build some of the regular guy. And there's a version of him just like that with the arms without those robot arms. So this is very good part out. I want to say I got these with shipping is like three dollars and thirty cents each with the shipping cost um so it's like 130 bucks roughly in that area 
and at my cost here, and this is only with five of the minifigures. And uh, I did it with the current items for sale average, or no, last six months sales average. So this is a really good part out actually, it's extremely good. Um, and we uploaded it, 2,500 items. Nice, now I gotta get working on uh, building him or getting all the parts together uh, correctly and creating other versions of this guy. And uh, yeah, good day so far. Good day of uploading. I wonder if Ralph can write me a program to help me with this. So you need one of each of these. I got them in at one and then you need two of each of these and you need four of these. So I just, I just went into the BrickLink just to what, when somebody buys something, they're gonna verify it with this page, what should be in it. Obviously the, I verified the instructions as well. That's how I sort, set, you know, sorted these and separated them originally. But um, so you just kind of take a bag and go. One, two of those, four of those. All right, we're back at this bag of stuff after what, three, four back and forth, the seller agreed to give me half of my money back. I mean, because this stuff is still very good use condition. All this stuff in here. But bite marks are just, just general used. Bite marks, loss of print, it's just general use. Nothing wrong with that. Anyway, I got this message from him. Please do not buy in my shop, dot, dot, ever, dot, thanks. <laughs> Which I thought was hilarious. So, what do I say back to that? <laughs> Don't worry, I will not be tempted to buy any more damaged parts from you. Dot dot. Ever again. Dot, you're welcome. Alright, day is over. Got two used sets ready to go today as well. The room is cleared for tomorrow. I gotta take some dirty dishes up. And uh, 383,000 parts again, something like that. Camera's not working. Goodbye. Sold one, dark purple spaceman. Let's go get him. 250, 80's up here. Got a new home, buddy. Goodbye. Sold. Whole team. Well, I'm missing two of the team, but six that I had. Let's do it again. Another one down. Another one down. Another one leaves the room. Something I rarely have to go into. Hidden side. I was pulling out a bunch of hidden sides. This is where the new stuff would go. Oh, got my last tan alligator. It looks like this is somebody that has over 30 orders on my Brooklyn store. One, two, three, four, five items. Nice. Awesome. Thanks again. It's on the way. We venture over here. Second time I've been over here. Somebody bought 100 dividers. Uh, before that, somebody bought 20 the after mill small dividers and 15 of the large in the same order. This person wants the tough store ones. It's the third time I sold them. All right, here it is. <laughs> this is a lot. Took me, um, it's 5.45 right now. Did I get this to work? 5.45. Took me less than 30 minutes to pull all these items, so that's good. Um, there's multiple over $50 orders in here. Obviously those two of those guys are quite a bit. And he's the last time I'll ever sell this guy, I'm sure. Just like the Series 9 Heroic Knight. But yeah, there's more of those helmets around than these dark purple ones. But it's the only time they ever made a light bluish gray helmet for a spaceman. So that, that price has gone up as well lately. It's always been high, but even higher now. Get this package up and move on to Bricklink Brickle. All right, all I gotta do is click this uh, link I put up here and watch it work. Is it working? I think it is. 
and voila. Here's what we have, 12 brick link orders, four brick owl orders. Actually, it's only three brick owl orders. One is the same person. So I don't know if I'm have to talk to Ralph about how that's gonna work at the end, but we did a fix yesterday, so we're hoping we don't run into any uh, any stalls in the program, or that's what I call it, it stalls, it just sits there and loads. Um, we found out it was the sets, when it was selling Lego sets, which were the actual CMF blind bag complete sets. And it was holed up on those after I got done with those orders. So I'm gonna start pulling. First one is Brick Owl. This is for Mevid Mevid Bricks. Not it, Mevid. I never know. Thanks for checking on the part. So he asked me about this uh, windscreen. So let's just go through it. Um, I gotta get to these other ones first. Light bluish gray, roller skate in 1785. I'm gonna try to keep my camera working the right way. My motor response is a little bit slow, I think. What I realized with this um, thing I hold is I need to use the joystick thing uh, to move it with me. I don't know why. It just wants to go around. It doesn't want to, it doesn't care. It just doesn't care right now. Um, so we space bar that down. 20 17 is 4. There we are. I don't know what is going on with this thing. It's fun. Alright. I'm with battling with this camera. I just turned it off there. Where did it go? Here it is. This is the windscreen they wanted. It's a used piece. It's in great used condition overall. I think I told them it was very good, nothing excessive. There's some marks on it, but not none of the ordinary that you can get from Lego with a brand new piece. So, nice windscreen. And he bought a hammer. It's actually, for the size of the item, it's a pretty expensive hammer. Missing the yellow tray. I'm still debating whether I should even buy a different laptop because this is working fine. I just need to figure out my yellow tray. Oh, I did have it on here yesterday. I forgot. Just as long as I hit the space bar. Um, I could have it on there. Oh, I got to mix the and the used parts. Uh-oh. How are they going to know? Yikes. All right, my most recent uh, vlog, I was partying out the Knight's Kingdom set. I got Goodwill for 10 bucks, And apparently, and then in that video later I couldn't find a part <laughs> and then like it's at this mark it's in 466 or 446 thank you everyone for bringing that to my attention I've been saved Let me get that correct here. all right this is going to Chris in lower Michigan sent me a couple things lately in the other previous videos so um, he has working on a build, working on building a small trampoline park park with this part, and I did send him a message about sending me some stuff. I'm like, I'd really like to cover the shipping, and that he sent me four bags of parts he was in no use for. So this uh, order is about that value. So I should probably just send them. There they are, the two black chains, brand new from the Knights Kingdom set keep talking about that set. They're really good when you find older sets, but the part-out value is close to the actual sell, sell, sell value of the set. There's another part from the set in there. Just, I decide to part it out. But awesome, thank you. Thanks for the parts again. All right, got an order that has a note on it. We're on number nine down here. It's way down here. So it's, uh, 16 lots so it says i have an ebay order with you i just said i talked about that earlier if you'd like to save money on shipping and combine them once again thank you i was watching your latest vlog and stop halfway through to order something i need that i watched you add lol awesome <laughs> that's what's cool about the vlogs like the, the even with those chains saw it on the vlog and they're like oh that'd be great for my trampoline park so it works it's a good uh, way to show the parts you have and uh, 
have fun with it. So 55 is nine. Start with these, so awesome, thanks again. I probably won't ship them together just because I've already packaged eBay up and we'll see how much this weighs. A wild guess here, but I'm pretty sure this is the part he was talking about because it wasn't, I added it last week. This thing. And he bought the middle of a boat haul too. So let's take a look at the order as I try to muscle this back to safety. There we go. There's nothing in five and six, so it's not that heavy at this point, but it's just an angle. We got that, the boat haul. That's from the Barracuda base that, the, that recently was released. Not recently, but as far as I know, the most recent release of it. We got some old castle guys. These guys are awesome. Awesome stuff and some old weapon colors. Some little bricks, some red ones in there. Awesome, thanks again. Great order. Well, we got through nine orders and it stalled again. So we have eight more to go. So I just restarted it real quick. Not too much. We'll see if we can make it through these. Being once again here with Ralph, we've just gone through it. We fixed it. We got the, all the shipping labels printed. Like it should work. We think we fixed it for good. What do you have to say to your fans? Uh, I don't know. How much would you pay for this? Hundred dollars? Two hundred dollars per order? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's awesome though. I love it. It's a great program. So gathered all the baseball cards I could find. I removed some from my actual listings on eBay. Just had some autograph stuff in there. Because I already listed all that. Um, so I'm going to throw all the good cards in the middle. This is going to be bigger than the last one. Because I have... Last time I did eight boxes like this. And then probably a half more one of these boxes. Of, maybe actually... A, there's nine boxes total. But this has ten. There's two here. <laughs> I don't have to find another box for this extra. I just tried to grab everything I could find. This is it. None of these boxes have been gone through. Um, I mean, I pulled a few just to make sure that they're baseball. And I will be, you know, photographing one or two. But uh, got to get this done. This is on the first thing on my list. This is the one thing I don't really want to do. But it'll be, once it's done, it's done. It'll be gone. Got the box ready and everything. And, uh... Yeah, the last one sold for 165 bucks like this, so free shipping. We'll see how how well this this does here. That will be gone in 10 days. Have to look at the listing here in a minute. And this is the NFL cards that are um, ending on Sunday in three days. Will be gone. And then after that, this is an empty box that I could use for something else. These are not sports cards. Those are what I use at Brick World to sort CMF blind bags. And then, um, so I have basketball here. These are pretty much full. There's a lot of basketball. I have to decase them. Sort of like all basketball in there. And then this is almost full. It's 85% full. Just the cards in, in plastic cases. Uh, this is kind of more stuff that I might keep. I don't know. I, this is a box that I've had since my little boy was... Hmm, that's his hand. He must have been two, three. Probably three. Because I remember having this at our first house we bought. So, And again, a lot of basketballs left. So i got to work, start working on that. Because football is out the door. I mean, I don't have any more boxes of football like that. Um, but I have a lot. that I, well, I think all of these are... Oh no, there's more baseball. These are all mixed up. They're all mixed. Thought I got all the baseball, but it's alright. I'm gonna at the end I'm gonna sure I'm gonna have a hodgepodge of different sports because I have like a small sack of hockey. There's more baseball. They're just mixed in. So I'll have to do a, a listing at the end of everything. Uh, but these are some football in there. So anyway, that's what it looks like. That's all I have left from that huge haul. It would have been in May. Man, this camera holder is real touchy. I gotta change the settings. There it be. Ending January 23rd. 
at what noon, one o'clock Central Time on a Sunday PM. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.